Hi guys, uh, Greg Sweet here at Kettle Corn Machine. I just wanted to show you something really cool. This is our stainless steel uh, refrigerator that we've had for years. It's a beautiful stainless steel refrigerator. And if you notice, it's got stainless. I love stainless steel in its right place, guys. I'm telling you what. Um, the, the thing is, though, is, is I'm not going to take this, this stainless steel refrigerator in and out and in and out and put it in the back of my truck and then put it in my trailer. I'm not taking the stainless steel thing anywhere, okay? I'm going to show you guys why we use what we use, why we use aluminum and why it's the best material for your kettle corn machine. Guys, you need a piece of equipment that's tough, like a tough box. Hi guys, Greg Sweet here. I want to show you the back of our trailer, man. It looks like a disaster happened last night. We ended up feeding uh, over 200 homeless uh, last week or last night. And look at this stuff. The tents fell down. The thing fell over. My, my air compressor fell over, guys. And guess what it hit? It hit my machine. It hit the side of my machine. And if I would have had that old stainless steel, guys, I would have had huge dents in it. I got to show you what happens with stainless steel. Guys, I had a question last week. A guy called me up and said, Greg, hey, you know, I, this uh, diamond plating's kind of cool, but you know, why do you use the diamond plating? And let me show you why we use diamond plating, guys. Remember, our company does events. We're out there busting our butt like you, making money selling popcorn, okay? And when I was using stainless steel on my machine, you know what started happening? I started noticing all these dents on my, my equipment. Okay, check out this, okay? Here's a small dent. And so we would throw, we'd put our equipment into our trailer, right? And it would, it would run into something, right? It would run into something else. It would run into something else. Look at the dents in this thing, okay? That's the way our equipment was looking. After two or three shows, we had so many dents in our equipment. My wife goes, Greg, we gotta replace the stainless steel on our, on our stuff. It's all dented up. And I was like, you're right, it looks like crap. Yeah, watch this. This is so amazing, guys. This is why we went to this product. Look at it. There's no dents in it. Why? Because this stuff is designed to do that. It's designed to take the hits. It's designed to look good for a long time. We have kettle corn, we have machines out there that are two to three years old that are made out of this stuff. There's no dents in the side. They don't look like crap anymore. They look beautiful, brand new, just like when they came off the showroom floor, guys. That's why we started using aluminum. That's why we started using this stuff instead of that thin stainless steel. I'll guarantee you, you take a ball peen hammer or you run, run your kettle corn machine into a bunch of walls and stuff that are made out of stainless, they look like crap after a couple years. And you're, you're like, dang, man, this, I thought this stuff was supposed to last. It doesn't. It's too thin. It just doesn't work. This stuff is this thin. Look at that. This stuff will take a beating after beating after beating, and it'll still look good. Hi, guys. Yeah, a lot of our competitors are telling us, uh, telling you that uh, you don't want aluminum, that it's cheaper or whatever. Well, number one, it's not cheaper. Um, aluminum is very expensive to, to weld, it's expensive to buy, all that stuff. And a lot of the competitors are saying that this diamond plating looks really good on a tough box, you know? And I gotta tell you what, they're absolutely right. Guys, we've been building this stuff uh, for the last couple of years, and with our 100% stainless steel bowl and our super tough box, your machine's gonna look really good for a long period of time.